life is full of seasons and times. You may not agree with me, but actually that is how the, our life goes. Seasons determines or prolongs what will happen at a specific time. Most of us go through seasons in life and we get bored, we get upset, thinking that such seasons are not going to favor us. But that's, those kind of seasons will persist and grow into something called time. The event that happens, the hard times, the good times, they all constitute the season that produce something powerful at the end that we call it the time. When we take a look at pregnant women, they had a season of pregnancy for nine months and all those seasons, many things happen. Sometimes they become restless in whatever they do. They cry, sometimes they vomit, sometimes they have sleepless nights. But all those things are just season preparing them for a particular time which is called the ninth month. And the very moment where the baby comes out and the mother gives out a cry, a smile, becomes a particular time. All those are season preparing the baby to come forth. What if the person fed up with it and got the baby ab aborted? Will it have the particular time? So many seasons actually drive us to a particular time in life where we smile, where we rejoice. But as an end, sometimes you all have seasons to travel abroad. You all come to the airport, but the time of flight is determined the specific time. We are in a season of traveling, but the moment I take off becomes my time. And the moment I'm in the air it becomes another season. And the moment I land at a particular place that I want to go it becomes my time. So life is just full of seasons and time. But if you don't really know, you may think you are suffering whilst you are in your season. But actually, you have to rejoice and proceed so that your time may come through the season. So the persistence in character, in strength, in endurance will cause your right time to come. Everybody is waiting for that right time to come. And that right time can only come if you persist in your season. Your season may be a lot, little bit bitter, a little bit stressful, but that should, that should prevent you from attaining your goal, which is your time. Know that your seasons work towards your time. So if you stop during the course of your season, there is no way you are, not, you are going to have your right time. We all dream to have the right time in our life, the perfect time in our life where we smile, we put, uh, we clap to hands, we thank God for making us proud and things. When you look at our school system, we school for so many years to attain a degree. All those times are the seasons in life we have. You study hard, sometimes you have difficulty, sometimes you feel some examination, you rewrite and all those things. Sometimes you, you starve because of lack of money. But that's actually preparing you for a particular time in your life where you'll be given that, that degree award at that particular time. Why is it that you didn't take that degree before you started school, but you need to pass through a season of life of difficulties of training and learning before you can attain that particular time, what is called the time. So life is actually full of seasons and time. So if you don't try to understand life, know that life is full of seasons and time. If you are going through a season, rejoice, pray and work hard because definitely your time is going to come. But nobody on this earth makes the magic. The person goes through a lot of things. I want to take a look at great, great men, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett. A lot of people, they went through seasons in their lives. Some even quit along the line, but they gained courage again and they restarted. And today, they are the big men we call. They are the people that are now renowned people because they went through seasons of life and life brought them to their perfect time. So brothers and sisters, Let's work hard in our seasons so that our times will be perfect. God bless you.